Hi, I'm Adam C and welcome to Deutsch Tech. Now this video is brought to you by carhuddle.com, the free online car show directory. And today's video is not coming to you from a car show. Deutsch Tech is a German car specialist. So you can see mainly BMWs that they specialize in. E46 M3 in the background. We've got a, a custom one series here. And I haven't got a German car. So you may be wondering why I'm here. But behind me is a ramp in which my 350Z is held. I don't know if it's uh, it's not actually visible, but over here we've got an LS3 powered 700 horsepower Chevrolet sleeper. So they do not just do custom BMWs, so they are able to work on my 350Z. So today I am here to get a new exhaust. So the car does currently sound rather nice. The 3.5 litre V6 engine. However, it's not quite loud enough for my liking or for your liking. Everyone tells me, guess an exhaust for it, and I never thought I would, but now I am. Deutsch Tech said they would help me out, so here I am in Milton Keynes. I'm a little bit late today, so I didn't get a clip of the car this morning, but here's a few clips of what the car sounded like before the exhaust was ripped off. <laughs> So it currently has the standard exhaust, which is feeling a little bit sorry for itself. I need to get the Y pipe sorted as well, but that's for a later date. But as you can see, it's got a slightly badly polished back box. It's got the twin tips. It's got the mid resonator and it's all a fairly standard system. And it's got a little blow in one place as well. And it's a bit rattly. It's not perfect, but that's what came with the car. And the car is, I don't know, about 12 years old. So it's gonna be in that condition anyway. So what we've agreed to do is to take that system out and replace it with a custom exhaust. I am going for three inch straight pipe cat back with twin back boxes. Now what I wanted was a kind of deeper sound. I didn't want it to be too tinny because some 350Zs with an exhaust can sound a bit high pitched and a little bit like Civic sometimes people say. So I just wanted to keep it as as low and bassy as possible ideally. If it's a bit high pitched then it will sound good because it does rev quite high that car so it will still be a little bit tinny but hopefully the twin back box system that I'm putting in place will still sound amazing and we're getting rid of the mid res and it's gonna be it's gonna be great. So the car's in there and they are working their wonders. The exhaust is already off and it's time to make my car a little bit louder to annoy my neighbours that little bit more. But whilst they are working away on my car let's have a look at some of the cars here. We've got a rather the custom one series that I mentioned earlier with Acroprovig exhaust tips and a matte colour for wrap. We've also got a matte black E92 BMW M3 next to the Austin Yellow E46 M3 over here. There is an old Porsche 911 here as well. And over here is the 700 horsepower LS3 Chevrolet Sleeper. So you would not expect a car in this condition would be that quick, but apparently it is, and it's very loud as well. Hopefully mine will be soon. This is pretty amazing. We've got an Audi over here with Ferrari calipers, and a few more BMWs over here, including this E46 M3. But I'll probably catch up with you once they're a little bit further into it. It's gonna take quite a few hours because it's a custom exhaust system. It's not just a full Acroprovic system that you can just bolt on, it's custom made, and they are doing me a huge favor because I was a little bit late today, unfortunately. So we will be quite tight for time towards the end, but I'm really looking forward to hearing what my car will sound like. Hopefully it's not too loud. So progress is going well. The three inch straight pipe has been welded in record time and I've got the power flow back boxes ready to be installed. So it's gonna be great. There's a little intermission. I'm just gonna film this 700 horsepower Chevrolet Impala go down the road. He's just bought a quieter exhaust for it because it was way too loud with its supercharged LS3. <laughs> oh my god. 
right now it is a little bit cold <laughs> but Deutschek have been working through the cold for a few hours now and the exhaust is just about ready for the car to be started up it's just about complete so I think it's time to have a look at my new exhaust system and see what it sounds like <laughs> it's not too loud, it sounds very nice. It's nice deep tone, which is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> it sounds like a trombone! The best way to properly hear all of this is to turn the heater on full, put the roof down, I am still shivering. <laughs> oh my god! This is how it should have sounded in the first place! So, three inch cat back straight pipe, mid res delete, and power flow twin back boxes, and five inch tips. Blue as well, so they look like a GTR. Oh my god, we have a tunnel wall cruise or something. Panic, panic. <laughs> yes, put the exhaust company next to a few tunnels and. Yes, 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 that is what we like to hear. Everyone around me is like, what the hell is that guy doing? I'm having fun. Oh, downshift. Yes. It's completely changed the characteristic of the car. The sound is like 80% of driving a car is the sound. Speed is irrelevant. If a car sounds good, it sounds like it's going fast. And what I just said is not strictly true, but at the moment that's what it feels like. I love good sounding cars. And it did sound good. I might miss the, the tone. It's a different tone, but... It's amazing! Downshift. More like it. Now it would be interesting to do a decibel test at one time, see if I can still take it on a track, but for now... There we have it, that is the sound of my car, that is the new sound, no going back because I've left the old system behind there, mainly because it wouldn't fit inside the car, especially the boot, I could have maybe put it in the footwell and stuck it out the top, I don't know. But I don't think I'll get bored of this. So I'm going to sign off the video here. There we go, you wanted it, I got it done. So I look forward to taking this car to all the shows with my nice new exhaust, showing off the sounds of this 3.5 litre V6 engine. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Huge thanks to 
joint check for doing this in record time because I was a couple of hours late. And follow me on Instagram for updates about this car and all my other cars, all my other cars, both my other cars, and for all the events that I go to as well. But for now, thanks for watching.